Melissa and Andy have been together for a long time, and I got to see how he takes care of her. I guess I realized after a while that he was pretty smart because we went to Myrtle Beach a couple years ago in the summer, August, and that's when he asked me for Melissa's hand in marriage. And I told him, you know, that was fine. He said he would be asking her in December. So I figured that'll give me plenty of time from August to December to talk to Melissa. <laughs> but Andy decided that he would ask her in October. <laughs> Andy, I can't believe the day is finally here. You're finally becoming my husband something I've been looking forward to for years now. We've come so far in our relationship. Breaking out of the friend zone wasn't easy for you, but I'm glad you stayed persistent and kept your patience with me. The first time he brought her home, I knew she was the one. Melissa has my heart. Very much so. She has my heart, and she knows it. You're my absolute best friend in the world, and there's nothing I can't tell you. I feel so lucky to have you as my person. You balance me out perfectly. You put up with my crazy. You always think of the little things that make me so happy. You always know the right things to say. You're the perfect amount of silly. I constantly think about the night you proposed to me. It was the happiest night of my life, knowing I'd be spending the rest of my life with you. I can't believe you chose me. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world. When I walk down the aisle to you today, everything will be right in my world. I never realized I could love a man as much as I love you. You're my soulmate and my other half. I promise as your wife I'll always be your best friend. I'll be here to listen when you need to talk. I'll be here to make you laugh. I'll be there sitting next to you on our rockers when you're grayer, laughing about all our inside jokes when we were younger. You're my whole world and I'm in love with you, Mandy. Love soon, your wife not. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Here we are after five years together, and it probably seems like it hasn't been that long, but today, you start a new journey. We know that you two like to take road trips, so you're taking the ultimate road trip right now. Today is the first day of your happily ever after. Together, you will take turns navigating. Together, you'll travel to new heights, and you'll be able to face anything life throws your way with the confidence of knowing that you're always there for each other. You know that you have found a gift in each other, and that gift is something that you can celebrate every single day. Nelly, look at you. You're so pretty. <laughs> no crying. Here you go. You look so nice. You look so nice. Hi. Oh, you're crying. Because <laughs> you're crying. Don't do that. <laughs> Melissa and I kept in contact very often, um, but there was one instance where I vividly remember her calling me and talking about this boy that she had met at college. She insisted that they were only friends, but by the tone in her voice, I knew that she was crazy about him. Emily, your hair is amazing. It was great weather, we had a lot of time together with the hair and the makeup. Um, it was a great bonding time for the girls. She has such great friends. They've been together at IUP for a long time. And she has friends from high school too that were there. Uh, she just has so many cool friends and such a bond with them. When we were younger, Melissa and I would spend hours on the phone together after school. Sorry, Carol and Bud. <laughs> Talking about everything from boys to how much we idolize Britney Spears to what movie we were going to see that Friday night at Regal Cinemas. It's oh, it's Carrie here. Yeah. Austin, what is the pillow you're going to have for when you walk down the aisle? Come here, buddy. You hold it like this. Oh, yeah, 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 when I think about the best times and my worst times, Melissa was always there, through it all. Melissa is a sister I never had. 
she's my best friend. I have the funniest and best times in my life when I'm with her, and she's also the first person I call when I need advice if something is wrong in my life. It was an amazing day, and these kids are just so awesome. They've got such kind souls. We were both in a fraternity. We were in Acacia. It's a big thing that we, we did together. Uh, the, the big motto is, uh, you know, um, community service, and I feel like he's a very good, uh, he's a great guy. He, he does anything and everything for everybody. I don't think I would ever uh, not hesitate to ask him for really anything. I, uh, he always, you know, steps up. <laughs> I met Andy as a friend of Melissa's, so I just had no clue at that time. Um, we have a cabin that's close to Andy's parents. So Andy was there as a friend, but they every summer they got together with their friends at IUP that were in the local area. So they had a friendship for quite a long time and it, and it grew into something more. She's a beautiful bride. Her dress is like a mermaid style kind of dress. She picked it out and immediately knew that that was the dress that she wanted. I was there that day. She would not try on anything else because that's what she wanted and she looked absolutely beautiful in it. It seems not that long ago that you met in college, Melissa recalls the very first time she saw her neighbor, Andy. He was uh, de-egging his frat house at the time. And she wants you to know she had nothing to do with that. <laughs> and your progression was slow and smooth and simple. It unfolded just as natural as could be. And Andy recalls looking across the room and seeing his friend Melissa passionately singing into her red solo cup at a party and thinking, I really like that girl. I need to get to know her better. Andy loves that you, Melissa, are so hardworking and so dedicated. He says that you are his rock. More than that, he said he loves your huge heart, that you never leave anyone out. Your friends can come to you for advice. You love to help other people. And he loves that you love him, your families and friends, and especially your cats. <laughs> and, and you want a dog, true? She also wants Next a dog. Next weekend. Next weekend. <laughs> and Melissa adores so many things about you as well. She loves that you are so naturally extroverted and your personality just draws people to you immediately. That you care about everyone and you're quick to volunteer to help people. That you still maintain some really fun, loving, youthful qualities like Pixar movies and Legos, <laughs> and that you're always up for adventure, and really especially that you prefer experiences over material things. You two totally complement each other. You totally enhance each other, and you really do balance each other out in all the right ways. This was a special event because, um, for a lot of reasons, um, there's a special bond with Melissa. Um, she's just having such a great time today. It's so great to see family members and cousins and nephews and nieces and everybody coming together to celebrate. It's awesome. I know that Melissa and Andy are meant to be together. When I'm with them, they are so comfortable and silly together. I have never seen my best friend so content and naturally happy in a relationship until she met Andy. They are truly best friends. Nothing makes me happier to see my best friend marry the man of her dreams. Thank you for making my girl so incredibly happy, Andy. As Andy said, Melissa is hardworking. She's very loving, she's very sensitive and caring. Andy is very grounding for her. Andy really has a calming effect on her and brings out the best in her. 
So I think even though they said they were friends for a long time, they weren't friends. They were secretly in love with each other, but not telling each other. Melissa and Andy, you are marrying your best friend today. And as best friends, you know that you can discuss your ideas, your hopes, your dreams, and you can say anything to each other without reservation. So remember every day the privilege of enjoying each other's company. Love is friendship that has caught fire. It's quiet understanding, mutual confidence, it's sharing and maybe occasionally forgiving. Love is content with the present, but it always looks to the future. And your love is what joins you together in this promise today, and it is perfect in its potential to grow only stronger over the course of a very long and happy lifetime together. So we have two vessels of wine. One is a red, one is a white. The red symbolizes passion and symbolizes the bitter. The white symbolizes purity and also symbolizes sweet. And then Melissa will take a sip of each one. Mm -hmm. Because in life, they will take the bitter and the sweet and hopefully their marriage will have a whole lot of passion. <laughs> I'm have to swap them. <laughs> do it, do it. <laughs> I was facing Andy, so I saw Melissa walk down and I could see him like trying to hold back tears, but it did not work at all. So I literally saw him crying. I started crying. Everyone behind me was crying. Melissa was so beautiful. I could see how much he cared for her, just coming down the aisle, and I could see in his face, like, just, you know, welling up, like, tearing up. I, I've never really seen that side of him ever before. Oh, it was a special day to see her dad and her walk down the aisle. It was emotional um, to see uh, the whole family involved. I, Andrew. Take you, Melissa. Take you, Melissa. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. To watch the Steelers. To watch the Steelers. <laughs> and cheer for them. And cheer for them. <laughs> for better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For our lifetime together. For our lifetime together. Well done, sir. He made that look easy. <laughs> now it's your turn. Okay. I'm Melissa. I'm Melissa. Take you, Andrew. Take you, Andrew. To be my husband. To be my husband. To watch the Jaguars. To watch the Jaguars. <laughs> and cheer for them. <laughs> and cheer for them. <laughs> <laughs> to have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For our lifetime together. For our lifetime together. Beautifully done. As Britney Spears once said, she's so lucky. You are both so lucky to have one another. That is key to remember. No matter what life throws your way, you will always have each other, which means that you can accomplish anything. I love you both and wish a lifetime of happiness. Please join me in raising a toast to the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Choynowski. Love you guys. Again, I just want to thank everybody for traveling here. And I also want to thank both Andy and Melissa for having our daughter Ashley in the wedding. That was very important to us and I was glad that Melissa asked us if she could do that. And Andy, thank you very much. Congratulations, you two.
Melissa and Andy, I'm very proud of you guys. Um, it seems like it's been a long time in planning the wedding and here we are, it's happening and it's uh, a great time sharing uh, special moments with family, friends, and um, I wish you a very long, happy life together. I promise to encourage you, to nurture your dreams, to support your endeavors. I will shoulder our challenges and be your partner in all things. I will strive to a perfect love and offer you total faith and total trust. I will always be with you as your equal. This is my sacred vow. And you just did it. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm I, I'm just so happy for you guys. I'm glad you guys did this, tied the knot. Mandy, you're my very best friend, and I love you so much. And today was absolutely perfect. And I'm so happy for you, and I hope you have the best life ever. When Andrew and I were growing up, we were attached at the hip. When he wasn't suplexing me off the couch and making my nose bleed, we were watching Disney movies. So, as we grew up, Andrew got more mature than I did. And he got girlfriends, and I hated every one of them. <laughs> then Melissa came, and I couldn't hate her. And I didn't like it at first. <laughs> but I grew to love it, and her. So, I guess, here we are. <laughs> I'm 23 years in, you're married, where did time go? I am extremely happy for both of you. I have never seen you so happy. You brighten him more than I have ever seen him. You guys are great, and I love you both. And I wish you the longest, happiest life ever. I think Andy and Melissa will have a very long life. They have great mutual respect for each other, and uh, I, I, I think that's important. Angela and Melissa, I love you. Melissa, you are my daughter that I didn't have. If you ever need me, just call and I'll be there. Uh, Dad, too. I just love you guys. Looking natural? Yeah. <laughs> You're a natural. <laughs> Don't touch me.
Yeah.